What is a plus b whole squared? It is the well-known identity that equates to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. It is especially useful for finding squares of numbers quickly. For example, we can write 103 whole squared as 100 plus 3 whole squared. Using this identity, we get 100 squared plus 2 times 100 times 3 plus 3 squared, which equals 10,000 plus 600 plus 9. Adding these, we get 10,609. But where does this formula come from? Let's see. Thinking geometrically, the square of any number, say 3 squared, is the area of a square with side 3. The area of this square is 9 square units and that equals 3 squared. In the same way, a plus b whole squared is the area of a square with side a plus b. What is its area? Let's assume a to be some length and b to be the remaining length of the side of this square. Now let's draw these two lines. We get this square with side a, so its area is a squared and this smaller square with side b, so its area is b squared. What about these two rectangles? They have sides a and b, so their areas are a times b. So the area of this whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square. There's another way we can look at it. a plus b whole squared is actually a plus b times a plus b. To find the product of these two brackets, we'll use the distributive property, which says if a number is being multiplied by the sum of two numbers, then we multiply it by the two numbers separately and then add their products. For example, to find 5 times 3 plus 4, we'll distribute 5 to 3 and then to 4. That's 15 plus 20 or 35. Similarly here, we can distribute the first bracket to A and then to B. Now we can again apply the distributive property to these two terms. Distribute A here to A and B and B here to this A and B. Finally, we get a squared plus ab plus ab plus b squared. Adding these two like terms, we get our identity. a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Now what if you had to find a plus b plus c whole squared? Solve it and let us know in the comments.